If you think acrylic paint dries too fast for your liking, I'm with you, I feel the same way. First, if you're looking to blend any type of acrylic paints the best possible way, I made this video. There's good tips in there and it focuses on technique. I'll link it at the end for you to watch. And if you combine that video with this video, all your acrylic paint dreams will come true. For acrylic paint to be as smooth and blendy as oil paints, what you need is this. Open Acrylics by Golden. They are an amazing slow drying acrylic paint, still acrylic paint, but super slow drying, that behaves just like oil paint. And get this, they stay wet 10 times longer than regular acrylic paint. I already made a full review of the paints and today I wanna use them in a landscape, a sunset landscape with a blended sky and some reflection on a lake. This way you'll see them in action, see how they work and how I use them. The colors are beautiful, they're very vibrant. The texture is soft and silky. It glides on the canvas beautifully. Honestly, they really behave like oil paint, except that they're 100% acrylic paints. It means that there's no weird smells. You don't have to use like toxic solvents with it. You, you can use water with it. By using water, you're going to Diminish the drying time, as in it will dry faster. It's ideal to use Golden's open mediums that are specially made for these types of paints. For this painting, I'm using the open thinner, but I would have preferred to use the open matte medium. The difference is that in the medium, there's polymer in it and you can uh, extend the paint as much as you want, as in Put just a little dot of paint with a lot of medium to create glaze and transparencies for shadows or different types of textures and it won't um, diminish the quality of the paint when it dries. The thinner doesn't have polymer in it so we can't add more than 25% to the paint mix and because these paints take a long time to dry, I'll get to that in a minute, it has to be used in very thin layers, no more than one to two millimeters thick. That's what I've done in this painting. Open acrylic paints are ideal for realistic subject matters. If you want to put in a lot of details in a subject matter, or if you want to blend a sky, or like I said, reflection in the water, or for portraits. They're amazing for portraits and blending skin tones. To me, they're a game changer. They're the best of both worlds when it comes to acrylic versus oil. Just like oil, you have ample time to mix your colors, blend your painting, put in a bunch of details before it dries on you. If you're missing a specific type of color, you have time to remix a new batch of color. There's less paint waste. The paint won't dry on your paintbrush and ruin brushes. It won't dry as fast on your palette. It's easier to wash on your fingers. You wash it with water. No solvents needed, no weird smell. They dry faster than oil, but a lot slower than regular acrylic paint. The beauty of these open paints is that you can use them with regular acrylic paint. It'll change the drying time depending on how much regular paint you add to it but you can still use them with regular acrylic paint that you have. The rule of keeping thin layers apply though in order for it to dry properly and not have any problems with the paint if you keep it to less than two millimeters thick, which is still kind of thick if you think about it, you won't have any problems. They're not meant to have big textures and big gloves of paint. But if you want that, there's a way to do it, and that is to let the first layer of open paint dry fully, exceptionally well, for two weeks before putting big globs of thick paint on it. Two weeks, and then you can do whatever you want. For this painting, I kept my layers very thin in most of the painting, so the next day everything was dry, except for a few places where I had a little bit of thicker paint in certain areas. They dry in different stages, so they'll stay very wet for about an hour and then they'll be very workable up to three hours and then up to 12 hours they could be reactivated with that open medium. That's amazing. In most cases they'll be fully dry in a few days depending on how thick of paint you put on. They recommend to wait 30 days before varnishing to be sure everything is locked down on the canvas. 
If you want to create seamless gradients and you want my best blending tips, go watch this one. Those tips combined with open acrylic paints will make you a happy painter for sure. I'll see you in just a few days for another one. Thanks for watching.